Hello children, hope finds you in the best of your health and safety. Today, we are going to read and understand chapter number 10 of English reader book. That is, Tom whitewashing the fence. So, let's start reading this chapter. But before that, we have to understand few new words. The first one is often. Please repeat, often. This means a child whose parents are dead. The second word is delighted. Please repeat. Delighted. Delighted means great pleasure. When you are very happy, then you are delighted. The next one is treasure. Please repeat. Treasure, which means precious metals or gems. That all stuff is called treasure. The next is fences. That are the barriers. You must have seen Outside the gardens, there are the barriers, right? Those barriers are called fences. The third one is tempted. Tempted means attracted or lured. When you are getting attracted towards someone, that means you are tempted towards that. I hope you all must have understood these new words. Now, let's start reading of this chapter. Now, firstly, let's learn who was Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer was an orphan who lived with his aunt Polly. As I told you in the beginning that an orphan is a child whose parents are dead. Therefore, Tom was living with his aunt Polly. Tom was a very mischievous child. And because of his mischiefs, aunt Polly used to punish him. So, let's read in this chapter how Tom was punished for the mischief. So, now let's start reading the chapter. Everyone, please open page number 88 of your English reader book. It was Saturday next morning. The school was closed. All the children in the village were free. It was a brilliant day. The sun was shining bright. The birds were chirping. Chirping means they were making sound. The sound made by the birds is called chirping. The trees and flowers looked fresh and lovely. All the children were happy. Of course, Tom wanted to go for swimming with other boys. Now, what happened? That it was a Saturday morning and the school was closed. So, Tom and other children were free in the village. Everybody was enjoying. The nature was also looking very nice. That The sun was shining brightly. The flowers and the birds, they all were happy. But... Among everyone, one person was not happy, that was Tom, because he wanted to go for swimming with the other boys and he was not allowed by Aunt Polly. Now, let's see why he was not allowed. Tom sadly came out of the house, holding long brush in one hand, a bucket full of white paint in the other. He was punished. His aunt told him to whitewash the fence. Tom looked sadly at the fence. Now, why he was sad? Because he was punished by Aunt Polly. And what was the punishment this time? That he had to whitewash the fence. So, therefore, he came out of the house and he was looking very sad. And in his hand, he was having a bucket of white paint and a long brush to paint the fence. How big it is. How long it is. 9 feet high and 30 yards long? Tom pushed his brush into the whitewash paint. He drew slowly across the fence. It made a very small white mark. Tom tried again and again. Another white small mark was there. Tom sat down. He sighed heavily. It was really a difficult task and that too on a holiday. Now, what happened? When he looked at the fence, he was surprised that it's so long and it's so high also. So, it is going to take lot of time. And by then, all his friends will be back. They all will enjoy this much of time and he will not be able to do so. So, he was very upset. Aunt Polly had punished him. So, he had to paint the fence. So, he started doing so and when he started, he saw that there is a white mark and then another and he then sat down very quickly and he thought that, oh, Rhea, it's so difficult task. And why it was seeming so difficult to him? Because it was a holiday and he had to work and other children were 
enjoying their time. Just then, Tom saw Jim carrying a bucket. He was going to fetch some water from the village pump. Fetch means to bring. The other boys will be there at the pump, thought Tom. So he made the idea of meeting his friends. He called Jim. Let me fetch the water while you whitewash the fence. Now what happened? When the Tom sat down, then he saw that Jim, one of his friends, was coming from the other side and that child was having a bucket in his hand. And why was he having the bucket in the hand? Because he was going to the village pump to bring water from there. Tom thought that he is going there. There he will be meeting all his friends and they will be enjoying at the village pump. So why should not I talk to Jim and do an exchange of the work? So what he did, he told him that I have an idea. I will go and meet my friends in this way. He went to Jim and said that do one thing, that you whitewash the fence, stay here and for you I will go and bring the water. Oh no, replied Jim. Aunt Polly said that I must not help you. She said that you must do whitewashing yourself. So when Tom said that Jim, you please whitewash the fence and I'll go and bring water for you. What did Jim say? He said, no, he cannot do so because Aunt Polly had already informed him and warned him also that he will not do any work of Tom Sawyer. He has to do his punishment on his own. So, his plan was about to fail. Do you think his plan would fail? Let's see. I will give you a marble, Jim, if you let me fetch the water. A marble? Let me see it. Tom held out the marble in his hand. Jim looked at it, but Aunt Polly was close behind him. She hit him hard. Jim quickly picked up the bucket and went running Tom down the street. Tom started his work again. Aunt Polly went back into the house satisfied. Now what happened? That Tom was trying to bribe Jim that I'll give you a marble if you allow me to go and bring water for you. And he got excited to see the marbles. He said that wow, wow marble, just give it to me. I would like to see. But when he took them in his hands, what happened? When Jim was looking at the marbles, Aunt Polly came there and she hardly hit him on his head. And then he understood, oh no, Aunt Polly is here. So instead of getting scolded by Aunt Polly, he quickly picked up the bucket and went down the street to fetch the water. Now Tom was again sad that, oh no, my plan has been spoiled. So I would have to start my work again. And when Aunt Polly saw that he had started doing his work again, so she went inside the house. Now let's continue. Tom stopped working. He sat down. To look at his treasure. He had some marbles, pieces of string, few broken toys. No one will whitewash the fence for these, he thought. No, I must think of a better plan. So he had an idea. Now what happened? When he sat down, he was not at all interested to whitewash the fence. So he sat down. And then he took out the treasure from his pocket. What was there? There were few marbles, pieces of strings and few broken toys were there as his treasure. He thought that if I'll give all these to somebody, then can someone help me out? Or can somebody whitewash the fence for me? Then he thought, no, nobody will do anything for such broken toys or small pieces of string. So then he thought, Ki nobody is going to do so. So that means I would have to think of an another plan. He saw Ben Rogers coming down the street. Tom pretended. Pretended means when you are showing off. Actually, you are not feeling that stuff, but you are pretending. You are showing it off that you are feeling happy or you are crying. You people pretend to cry, right? Similarly, Tom was pretending there not to see him and began working hard. He worked harder than ever. Ben was eating an apple, looking very happy in a playful mood. 
he came up to tom he rubbed his eyes now what happened when tom saw that ben rogers is coming towards his house what he did he started painting the fence very nicely and he pretended that he is enjoying it right and he was so involved in it he pretended that i'm so much enjoying it that i'm not bothered about anything around me that if you have come also i didn't come to know that you have come i am completely enjoying my white washing the fence and at that time ben was eating an apple he saw that oh tom is working so hard so he was surprised that he rubbed his eyes to check that whether i am looking at the correct thing or not so let's see what happens next why tom he cried in a great surprise you are working tom said nothing he went on his white washing he looked very interested in his work as ben was amazed that oh tom is working so he asked that oh it's a great surprise that you are working but tom did not say anything because he was pretending that oh wow i am enjoying the white washing of my fence and i am not at all interested or not at all able to hear that what's happening all around me tom you are working ben repeated oh it's you ben i did not notice you do you like working don't you want to play this is not work tom said quietly and went on white washing not work ben exclaimed now what happened when he saw that ben, uh, tom has not reacted ben asked again that tom are you working he then tom replied oh ben it's you i couldn't make out that i didn't come to know that you are there then he said oh you are working today don't you want to play like every day you are playing today what happened that you are not playing and you are working he said no it's not a work i am enjoying it so let me do it but ben was exclaimed he was surprised that how can he say like this he is such a naughty child who loves to play all the time how is he saying such things oh no i like it it's a real fun have you ever white washed a fence well no i haven't then what happened that tom was asking him you are being surprised at why i am working and it is not a work i am enjoying it it's just all fun and then he asked ben have you ever experienced such fun then he said no i haven't for a time ben stood watching tom tom paid no attention to him all his attention was given to his work at last ben said let me white wash a little now what happened tom was continuously white washing the fence and he was pretending that he is enjoying white washing the fence when ben saw that he is enjoying so much he got curious that wow i must also try that what is the fun that he is having by white washing the fence so he said that please let me white wash a little so tom replied oh no ben i am going to take i am going to make this fence look fine everybody cannot do that it's very difficult besides it's interesting let me do just a little begged ben as he was tempted to do it once no i'm sorry ben but you can't aunt said i must do it myself if you do it you will make a mistake you will spoil everything now what happened he was continuously requesting tom that please let me white wash it please let me white wash it and tom was pretending as if that he don't that he doesn't want anybody else to white wash and then he said that it's a very difficult thing to do and you need to have proper patience and interest to do this work so he said no no please let me do it at least once at least once i would like to white wash the fence then tom said that no i cannot give you because aunt polly has said that i have to white wash it on my own i cannot give it to anybody else and if i'll give you of course you will spoil every thing i won't make a mistake i'll be careful you can have my apple if you let me white wash the fence so then ben said that 
I will not make a mistake. I'll be very careful. And then he also tried to bribe him that, okay, you take my apple and please let me whitewash the fence. So then Tom's idea worked. So what was children? What was the real idea of Tom? He was pretending that no, I am enjoying the whitewashing. Was he actually enjoying? No, he was pretending so that Ben should feel curious and do work on his part. So the same thing happened. His idea worked. Pretending to be unwilling, he handed the brush to Ben. Ben worked hard and harder. Tom sat eating Ben's apple and watching him. When Ben had done enough, other boys came along. At first, they laughed at Tom. By soon, they were whitewashing the fence. Of course, they had to give their best for the work. Now, what happened? They exchanged the things. Tom gave brush to Ben and Ben gave apple to Tom and they both had fun. Ben was enjoying whitewashing and Tom was enjoying because his idea has worked. He was sitting nicely, comfortably and having and enjoying his apple. But then after some time, few other boys also came. Firstly, they laughed that what's happening there. One is sitting and one is whitewashing. But later, they also gave something to Tom and whitewashed the fence a little bit. By the end of the day, Tom had 12 marbles, a tin soldier, a key, a dog collar, the handle of a knife and four pieces of orange added to his previous treasure. Now what happened? Everybody was giving something to Tom to let them whitewash the fence. Like Ben gave an apple to get the permission to whitewash the fence. Similarly, other boys who came there, they also gave him something to let him whitewash the fence fence in this way at end he had many different things with him so soon the fence had three coats of whitewash on it tom discovered two laws that day first law was if a man has to do something hard unwillingly then that becomes a work for him if he likes to do something hard willingly then that is fun for him so after that at the end what did Tom learn? That if you are willing to do something, may that work is very hard. It will be a fun for you. For example, Ben who was willing to do the whitewashing, it was fun for him. So he was enjoying it. It seemed very easy. But Tom who was not willing to whitewash, for him it was a difficult task. So he learned this thing that day that if you are willing to do something, then Nothing is impossible for you. Nothing is difficult for you. I hope you all must have enjoyed and understood the chapter. Thank you.